This is a Wayne Tebow inspired dessert art lesson. First, we're going to learn about comparing and contrasting artwork. Comparing means that you're looking at things that are the same. When you're contrasting things, you're looking for things that are different. These are his artworks. Uh, this is Lipsticks from 1964 by Wayne Tebow and Four Ice Cream Cones 1964 by Wayne Tebow. So I want you to compare and contrast these two artworks. Pause the video here if you want to do this on your own. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going. One thing that I see the same is that the lipstick and ice cream cones are both going up and down. They're vertical subjects. Another similar thing between the two is looking at the colors. They're using pastel colors. Another thing that's the same is that there are these shadows. Um, so there's shadows that are painted in both of these artworks. Um, if I'm looking at the title information down here, I'm seeing that both artworks were made in the same year of 1964. And another similar thing I notice is the background. I notice there's a solid background in both artworks. Now for things that are different, right away I notice that one is food, the other's not. You don't eat lipstick. Another difference that I see is the lines. The ice cream is in one line and the lipsticks in, are in two lines. Um, another thing that's different is that there are different colors being used. There's green in one, not in the other. Oranges, reds in one, not the other. Another difference is that the lipsticks are on the table and the ice cream is in an ice cream holder. And for the last difference, I see different shapes being used. There's some kind of, you know, rounded shapes and pointy shapes here. So different shapes were used. Um, here's some more examples of his work for inspiration. We have some sundaes, um, cake and pie pieces, a whole cake, uh, more sundaes. Something to think about for what you're going to do for your artwork. Um, we're looking at the background of these artworks um, are analogous colors. So analogous colors are any three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So these three yellows and oranges, um, these pinks and reds and oranges are next to each other, these blues and greens next to each other. Um, so you can see here those are kind of these three colors here just kind of lightened up but there's still three colors next to each other on the color wheel. So you're going to pick three for your own background. The materials you're going to need are scissors, glue, paper, and something to color with. You could use paint, pencils, crayons, whatever you have for coloring. I'm going to use paint for my background and I picked out three analogous colors. Um, I picked out kind of these blues and greens. So these ones he here next to each other on the color wheel is what I chose. Um, and you can design your background with your three colors really however you want. Uh, for my first one, I'm going to just make some horizontal lines or bands of color across the page. Um, just filling in using my analogous colors to just make a simple background. You could use marker or paint. I'm going to set this aside and make another one. I'm just going to make a bunch of backgrounds. Um, you could use crayons for your background. You can add white to your analogous colors and then they'll become tints of that color. Very similar to Wayne Tebow. He added whites to his colors to make them more of a pastel color. So just try, try and make as many backgrounds as you want. It's fun to make the desserts. So if you have a lot of different backgrounds, you can make a lot of different artworks. Then you have to decide what desserts you want to make. Uh, you can use pencils, markers, crayons, you can use paint. I like to use oil pastels, so I'm gonna use oil pastels. For an ice cream cone, you would start with a triangle and then add lines to make kind of that texture that ice cream cones have. Then pick out a color for your favorite flavor and then draw as many scoops as you want. Uh, you, then you could add in um, a cherry or sprinkles or candy. I added some um, bubble gum squares 
for bubblegum ice cream. Make uh, For making a cupcake, you make a square and a zigzag top. Then I connect the line to make that paper. I like to color them every other to make it look a little more fancy, make a pattern. For the frosting, make a loop at the top and fill it in. And then you could add, you know, sprinkles or a cherry, other details. For cake, you could, this is a piece of cake. Start with a down arrow, connect the line, draw another down arrow. Now connect the sides and then add the top. You can add extra lines following the arrow to add more frosting. So then it becomes kind of just a slice of cake or pie if you wanted to do it that way. Um, for making the big piece of cake with the cutout, well here, so here we started with this. So making the big piece of cake, you would do the opposite with your arrow. Now my arrows are both pointing up with the line in the middle connecting the sides and then you kind of make a loop a bigger loop at the top and kind of curve and connect the sides so now you have the opposite you have the piece of cake is cut out and add your frosting details if you want to add um, candles go for it so here are the two examples of how you start down arrow one piece up arrow um, if you want an extra challenge you could try drawing a glass for a sundae or a parfait like we saw in Tebow's artwork I like to add extra lines to make it look more like glass or see-through and then just adding in the color for the ice cream adding some frosting on the top you know add your details whatever you want little sprinkles now you want to carefully cut out all of your desserts. And I like doing separate pieces of paper in case I mess up. Um, I just like being able to cut out my artwork and then put it on my background. So I have everything cut out and then you're just gluing your dessert onto your background and you can mix and match and decide. But here I'm going to just glue, add Elmer's glue to the back and flip it over, press it onto my background, and then I have some awesome Wayne Tebow inspired artwork.